So uh, we are going to be concluding uh, paleotics uh, right now. A six-year-old child has duodenal ulcer with antibacterial drug. Uh, what antibacterial drug should be administered together with metronidazole and denol in order to advocate H. pylori infection? Uh, the answer chosen in Croc in this case is amoxicillin. I disagree a little bit because uh, metronidazole in combination with denol is supposed to be together with uh, tetracycline. It's supposed to be on the quadruple therapy. It's supposed to be together with tetracycline and a proton pump inhibitor. When we are using amoxicillin, it should be amoxicillin, uh, clarithromycin, and then uh, another proton pump inhibitor for a triple therapy. However, the answer to this question anyway is amoxicillin. So, a, a baby born after fast labor has palsy of hand muscles, uh, grabs reflex is absent as well as antimal. So, what I tell you that there's um, such kind of it means that the intrinsic muscles of the hand are actually affected. That's why there is uh, absence of grasp reflex in and this is usually in uh, clump cape paralysis. This is produced the uh, claw hand clump cape paralysis. A child is, I told us already about herbs, now they talk about forearm and everything. A child is 12 years old, complains of dull aching pain in epigastrium and right hypochondrium. That is getting worse after taking fatty or fried food. Headache, quickness, nausea, no great fever, and so on. What is the most likely that this is, is this is a case? You can see all this positive care or normal symptoms they are typical for gallbladder disease. So it's a condition of chronic cholecystitis. Chronic cholecystitis. If it is acute cholecystitis, maybe we have it in the option like a friend of mine was speaking asked about it. You they it be of more acute onset and and different things. A three month old girl presents with rhinitis, dyspnea, dry cough. This manifestation will be observed for two days. Child has pale skin, acosinosis, shallow respiration at rate of 80. Percussion will feel bound box resonance over the whole surface of the lung. And at three months old, I thought we spoke already about bronchiolitis. So this bronchiolitis over the whole surface of the lung. So this is bronchiolitis. Alright, during the first home visit, a full time boy after his discharge from the maternity hospital, a pediatrician reviewed a symmetrical swelling of mommy without skin change over them, swelling of the scrotum. Body temperature is 36.5. Baby is calm, sucked the mother's breast actively. So, what should you think of? This is a baby that is just having a hormonal crisis of the newborn and it's going to be okay after some time. Alright, what segment of spinal cord has been affected? Based on the fact that we, the child is having neurological assessment, revealed non focal neurological symptoms, total flaccid paresis of upper extremities. All of our experiences are affected. They are simply asking us that in this question, what is the root of breakout pleasures? That's what they are asking us. And that is from C5 to TH1. So, upper limbs, nerve supply. Again, so we have a patient that's having, uh, you can see, baby's blood A, versus negative, and mother's blood group 0. Blood group zero and you're having anemia in this newborn. So already we have our answer. This is a baby that is having ABO conflict. ABO conflict. This ABO conflict. Okay, child had chronic tonsillitis. What is the etiological factor of carditis in this case? I would know that would be to the uh, streptococcus. It must have been a streptococcus or uh, throat infection that later resulted in uh, rheumatic fever or carditis. All joints of the left elbow of a newborn are extended. The whole arm hangs vertically along the trunk while the forearm pronated. Active movements in the elbow joints are absent but present in the shoulder joints and the flattened is refined, go to torch and so on. Sorry. 
what is the likely diagnosis? So I told us already that in, 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 in CROC we have three basic answers as far as it relates to bed traumas. They want to know about Epps palsy, they want to know about clump K, and they want to know about this one that rarely comes, which is inferior distal obstetric paralysis. I just assume this to be everything they are describing of it to be the lower part of the upper extremities, and that's the reason why it is inferior distal obstetric paralysis. In this question, we don't have Epps or or uh, clump in the option. X circumference of a one month old baby are signs of excitement. The size of excitement is 37 cm. After feeding child bigogly small when they tell that the child bigogly small portions or close to the amount in which the child are ingested, that is a condition of a pylorus spasm. Please not stenosis is pylorus spasm. It is even safer to pick pylorus spasm for any of these answer than pylorus stenosis in the exam. So pylorus spasm when child is injecting some volume out of what has been taken. Again, okay, we have a child with fever and multiple pea-sized blisters with no infiltration at the base. Single bright red moist erosion with anywhere you see such lesions with epidermal fragments on periphery. Anywhere we see that, we should simply go for epidemic pain figures of the newborn. So that is a very big pointer, having that erosion on the periphery. Epidemic performance of the newborn. Okay, we have uh, on the second day prevent a child on second day after preventive vaccination, 23 two year old boy. Sorry, two year old boy presented with abdominal pain, and then you can see got red macular skin manifestation, and you can see knee joints, edematic, arthritic, or joint manifestation. Examination of other review no part. So this is already three out of like the four organs we spoke about in condition of hemorrhagic vasculitis. So this is a patient with hemorrhagic vasculitis. Enoxolem purpura. Another question we view this as anaphylactoid purpura. On the sixth day of life, a child got multiple vesicles filled with seropulent fluid. So what disease is suspected? Seropulent fluid is uh, with vesicles and seropulent fluid. Vesicle is vesiculo, or seropulent is postulus. <laughs> So they are telling us, please join these two words together in this sentence and give us a disease, vesicular postulosis. If, uh, so what condition are we going to have positive reaction to glycogen and negative to peroxidase? So negative to peroxidase in leukemia, the leukemic condition that results in positive glycogen reaction, and we can see the age is 14 years, is lymphoblast, 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 it's very common. All right, reading through this question of uh, five year old was operated for uh, change this will be congestive heart disease. For the last three weeks, he has complained of fever, heart pain, achy muscles, and, and bones. But the most important thing is this examination of the finger tip revealed Janeway lesions. Janeway lesions is typical for infectious endocarditis infectious endocarditis genuine lesions uh we have a three-year-old child with non rheumatic myocarditis and suddenly it presents anxiety acrocinosis peripheral the matter notice blood pressure is low heart rate tachycardia extra systole liver is hepatomegaly oligodryas present this child has been diagnosed with acute heart failure what method of examination is most informative for assessing the child's uh, status dynamics? And of course, we know that in, in, in normal life, we still want to see the organic defects that we are having in this patient. So the best way to do that is to do an echocardiography. Echocardiography in this myocarditis, they are already organic damages. How do you monitor what is the most appropriate method for further monitor of respiratory function in the patient? You see, you can use parametric to know the level of uh, respiratory system affection and everything. But when the patient is being treated over time and so on, you want to know the respiratory status, you want to know the effect of treatment and so on. The best test to consider there is the use of a uh, peak flow metric. Peak flow metric for such patient. Please take note of that peak flow metric. Full time newborn was born with body weight of 4,000 grams and body length of 57 centimeters. Reaction to postnatal shake was check was absent. 
That is the what is the solicitation measure should be taken. Here it's going to be to start actual investigation with a mask. With a mask. I just took note that. All right, we have a patient auto microbacterial model uh, The left kidney is undetectable. Right one is enlarged. There are signs of double pilocalicia system. See so when you are having anatomical malformations at the level of the kidney, you want to see the extra to the extrusion channel. You want to do extrusion geography. It's extrusion geography that I point to attention that let you discover any form of pathology. So what studies require to specify that means extrusion geography. Here the extrusion calicia system. A five eight year old boy has two year history of blushy itchy rash appearing after eating citrus uh, fruit. The first eruption occurred at the age of six months after the introduction of Jesus to baby diet. Father has a history of bronchial asthma, mother allergic rhinitis. What is the most likely diagnosis? This is a patient with atopic. You know, we said when there is reaction, that is an atopic, atopic reaction, allergic reaction, atopic dermatitis. All right, you see that this child is having signs of meningial symptoms. Meningial symptoms. And on CSF analysis, you have lymphocyte to be 90%. It means that the cause of this is not a bacteria, it's viral. And which one of these could result in that? This is enterovirus. 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 This is the only virus in this question. I said in CSF, I always check for what is, is it lymphocyte or lymphocyte to know what to think next. Three year old with acute respiratory viral infection administered with biceptor, paracetamol, naxoferon. On the third day of treatment, the baby's condition deteriorated. Develop, we see, sore throat, and so on. Spots were replaced with vesicles, examination of lesions of mucus membrane and the mouth and ears. What is provisional uh, diagnosis in this uh, patient? So, already they told us about the patient I've been using drugs yet in combination with viral infection so i'm sure you are thinking right now of steven johnson i said before we said drug not it's not only aspirin so this is condition of steven johnson's syndrome the patient is having respiratory viral infection in combination with some drugs and then begin to have such manifestation steven johnson's syndrome sts how what is the optimal method of secondary prophylaxis of patient acute fever you give year-round bicillin. Remember, we said bicillin five. You give year-round bicillin five prophylaxis to the age of twenty-five years. So one more question left. End of pediatrics. Really, I as at now, I'm I'm not. I don't really know about whether I'm going to do it or not. But most likely, that I might still do one more video. I might to just show certain random clues for all the questions. Maybe then I'd mention the hygiene and social medicine. Because for hygiene and social medicine, I, if I'm going to do the video, I'm not going to explain it. I'll just say, this, this is the answer, this is the logic behind it. And so on, just to enjoy ourselves as we read that. I wish you success in the exam. Don't choose options that are strange. you notice that the answers have been quite repetitive over the years. So choose answers that are as simple as possible. The aim of the question is to make you get it right, not to make you miss it. So don't overthink. And I pray that uh, the grace of God will see each and every one of us through in the name of Jesus. I'm also praying for everyone that I've been studying and uh, pray that God is going to crown your effort with uh, good success. So this is a patient that is having uh see a patient is having we have seven year old patients who have developed uh, an acute condition complaints of headache two onset of vomiting temperature you can see the temperature pressure no car rigidity bosiskis and everything all these things are typical for these are typical signs of meningitis so meningitis have a beautiful evening god bless you